Welcome back, True Seeker. A little bit more teaching for people duped by the flat earth theory. Oakry Breeze writes, he thinks the earth is flat because of the North Star. And I know where he's coming from. But what I want him to know is that if he does a little bit more homework, he's going to find out that the North Star is not visible from the Southern Hemisphere. And the reason why is because of its position in the sky relative to the Earth. As I mentioned, if you're on Earth and you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we'll say this is the North, and we'll say down here's the South. This is my girlfriend's lip balm, but we're going to use it for our Earth. If you're in the North and you look up at the sky, you see a set of stars up here. And if you're in the South and you look up at the sky, you look out this way, you see a different set of stars. You see? We call it space that we look out to where the stars are. In the north, you see a different set. Now, what's special about the north star is its position in the sky. It's very far from Earth, and where it is in position is at the axis point that's directly above the center of the northern hemisphere. So, think about this. The stars in the sky, they're like a wheel of stars, right? Imagine that you're on a merry-go-round. Uh, okay, imagine it this way. You're, you're up above in a helicopter, and you're looking down at a merry-go-round, and it's a big merry-go-round, and it's full of children. You're looking down, and this merry-go-round is spinning. The children on the outside of the merry-go-round, you can see the pattern that they're spinning in. You know, it's a big circle. But the children who are standing in the middle of the merry-go-round... It doesn't look like they're moving very much because they're right in the middle. There's not as much of a motion in there. That's why when you're on the outside of the merry-go-round, it feels like you're moving a lot faster because you're making the same circle together. But when you're on the outside, you're covering a greater distance per spin. But in the middle of that merry-go-round, if you're watching from a helicopter, it looks like the children aren't even moving because they're just in that tight little circle in the middle. That's the same thing when you look up at the North Star because it's in the middle of the wheel. So its position stays in the same spot relatively. You see all the other stars move around. They're like the children on the outside of the merry-go-round. You see? So it's all about perspective. And flat earthers are not understanding perspective and they're not doing their homework. The North Star definitively proves that the earth is a sphere. The reason you can't see it in the southern hemisphere is because you can't see that top middle point above the northern hemisphere. You know, the stars that are out further on the merry-go-round, you can see some of them from the southern hemisphere. You got the angle. You see? It's all about perspective. And when you have enough information, it becomes undeniable that the flat earth theory is a psyop based in lies, misinfor misinformation, deception. And a lot of people are putting out purposeful disinfo to dupe people who don't have enough facts. Okiri Breeze doesn't have enough facts. And if he's going to choose to say that the North Star is his reason that he believes in the flat earth theory, now he's just choosing to be a believer and he's ignoring logic, evidence, reason. You know, the North Star is also very far away. So that short little spin it's making... From how far away we are on Earth, we can hardly see that distance. You know, it's like if, if you're standing right in front of me, if you're standing right in front of me, you're three feet away, and you take a step to the right, I see that, right? But if you're a thousand miles away, and, and somehow I can see you with the telescope, and, and you take just one step to the right, and I'm looking through the telescope, I'm not really going to see your step to the right. It's not real pronounced. You just barely moved. And, and that's the same thing with the North Star. It's far away. Its spinning point is relatively small, so it appears to always be at that same spot in the sky. And again, because you cannot see it from the Southern Hemisphere, that proves that the Earth is not flat. I mean, if you're on a flat Earth, everybody's looking up at the same stars. You know, everybody would see the same North Star stuck at the same spot in the sky. And ask any sailor. Any sailor will tell you, you know. And you could prove it to yourself on a cruise ship. All of you flat earthers could get on a cruise ship and you could sail from the northern hemisphere down into the southern hemisphere. And when you did that, when you crossed over the equator, guess what? You're not going to be able to see 
the North Star anymore, and you're going to have proven to yourself that the Earth is a sphere. So this video goes out to Oak Tree Breeze and everybody else duped by the Flat Earth psychological operations, which needs to come to a drastic end. Until next time.